Hi you guys, Lindsay here. Well, welcome back to my channel, Inside to Him. All right, so it's been a very big week at Simplicity. They launched their new spring collection and with transformation and new beginnings in mind, they also revamped their logo, which I actually really, really like. Now, if they can just get to the website, <laughs> I think we'll all be very, very happy. But we're gonna do our best with what we've got here. And so let's, yeah, let's get right in. Our very first pattern is a women's jacket. Oh, wait till you guys see the new covers. Okay, sorry. Um, all right, so we've got a jacket. It looks like they made theirs out of, I don't know what that is, some kind of like pebbled, wool maybe it seems very pretty lightweight but look at all of this seaming so we've got a fisheye dart here another one two fisheye darts it looks like um a beautiful set in sleeve with possibly a shoulder pad in there a front neck band and then look at this lovely little sleeve detail the length is really cute it hits right at like the upper thigh and then you have this tie detail which i think is really nice let's check out here's another view of the front which is nice here's the back so again we have these aren't actually fisheye darts um when they're more like pleats they're two open-ended pleats which is actually pretty interesting it's an interesting way to get the ease that you need across the shoulder as well as across the hip which is nice, looks like inseam pockets also. So yeah, you can, there are three views. One is with this like rope trim. The other is with self fabric, which it's hard to tell the links, but I think A might be longer than this, maybe knee length. And then you have the shorter version C that has a different sleeve with a little slit here as well. But look how cute their, um, new pattern covers are very modern very simple which is good okay so we have suggested fabrics brocade crepe denim linen types poplin sateen satin yeah i totally agree with all of that um even just some lighter weight wools would be really nice I mean, it really could be a season, maybe outside of summer, but you could have a spring version, fall and winter. And then thread, two snaps, there's your cording, and then one button. So no shoulder pads. And then we have our bust finished measurements. I would like to have all three of them on the cover, but I'll take the bust over none of them. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty cute. The sizing is 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. Mrs. Jacket and three links are unlined with dropped sleeves and two style options. So I'm guessing this shoulder is a little bit wide is what they mean by the dropped sleeve. It's not too exaggerated. Asymmetric or center front closure asymmetric oops asymmetric or I guess these are considered asymmetric okay and front and back darts create shape sure does yeah that one's really cute and different right we don't see a lot of patterns like this so that's nice we've got a mrs. pocket dress oh this one's gonna be rough okay Wow, okay, um, a lot going on here, but we've got a really wide neck, a raglan sleeve, a wrist tie, a button front bodice, a very large belt out of self fabric, and then these huge pockets, in addition to a midi length skirt. All in this like hospital gown cotton fabric. Ugh. It is giving me like, like war nurse <laughs> from like the 40s uh what's that movie with Ben Affleck um 
oh shoot, about the bombing of Pearl Harbor. The, it, it reminds me of the people, the, the nurses in Pearl Harbor, right? I don't know. What's the back look like? Pretty straightforward back. Let's see the line drawings. Oh, that's not helping. I mean, maybe the cap sleeve is a little bit better, but is this an elasticized waist? V-neck. I don't know. There are some redeeming parts. I just don't think, I think the fabric's not great. The pockets are just, I mean, maybe if it was in like a twill type fabric, you know, more utility, maybe I could make sense of this, but this skirt with this bodice, they don't go together. I don't think they go together, but you could leave the pockets off. And I do like the neckline and the button front. The belt is okay, you know, but then, yeah, okay. Oh, I don't know. Here are the other line drawings. So V-neck, a little cuffed elbow length sleeve. These are both midi length. There also is a knee length version of C. And then it looks like everybody's, is, all the views are elasticized waists. And then you put your belt or your tie over that. And there are belt carriers there. And I think this is the opening. Like this is the closure. This is how you get in. So I'm curious to know if you just step through the elastic and it ends up being wide enough. I don't know. Uh, single fold bias tape, uh, elastic, buckle, buttons, and buttons. Yeah, there's no zipper or anything. So I'm guessing that elasticized waist stretches out enough that you can get it over your head and shoulders or the other way from over your hips. Okay, chambray, cotton types, gingham, linen types, poplin, sateen, shirtings. Yeah, I think that they were trying to go for like a springtime lightweight situation I'm just yeah this shirting is not not the right choice for me I don't like it um you need an insane amount of fabric that must be a very very full skirt or if this uh the waistline isn't actually a seam no it has to be because of the belt I mean because of the buttons I don't know that's a lot of fabric though even C with the short sleeve and the short hem, you still need more than three yards. That's wild. Uh, and then you get your finished bust measurement on here. All right. Sizes are 6 to 14 and then 14 to 22. Mid calf or knee length, raglan, short, or long sleeves have tie cuff feature, front button closure on bodice, semi full skirts, and buckle fastened belts. Okay. Next up, oh, this girl looks great. This is super chic to me. Okay. I'm loving the, like, a little bit of a nod to, like, the 70s here. This is like I said, super, super chic. I'm pretty sure this is some kind of linen or maybe a linen blend, which I am Loving. I love linen. Sewing with linen, wearing linen, obviously all good. Very similar photo to the first one. Here's the back. I'm forgetting to talk about the details because I like the dress so much. Okay, so we've got this like shawl collar, set in sleeve that's a little bit flared. And then this tie with this really cool, like I remember these from the 80s. I remember when you used to put the hem of your sweatshirt through there. Are we going to bring that back? I'm here for that. <laughs> and then it's kind of like creates this wrap front. You've also got some darting things happening, which is really nice too. And then you've also got, it looks like a dart situation happening in the back. Here's the back collar really pretty. This might be a little bit narrow. But other than that, the fit looks really good. Here's the pattern cover. They also have a sleeveless version and a shorter sleeve with a tie without a buckle. 
And maybe this is long and this is short. Yeah, so there is a knee length version as well. This is cool. I don't I haven't seen anything like that either. I would love to learn more about how that's constructed. And we'll get to the line drawings, but this looks really interesting. It looks like it's those um, darts again, those open-ended darts. I'll take anything in the back. You know what I mean? I'll take anything for shaping. But can you imagine this uh, sleeveless version in the linen oh, in the springtime, even the full length and everything with some sandals? Come on. I'm here for that. Chambray, cotton, gauze, gingham, linen. Yeah, all of those lightweight wovens for sure uh fabric again you kind of need a lot c which is the shorter version with the short sleeve is requires the least amount of fabric but obviously you could make a out of the shorter length too and you could probably knock off half a yard of fabric for that so and then you have your finished bust measurements i really like this I like this a lot. Uh, sizing is 6 to 14 and then 16 to 24. Mrs. Dresses in two lengths, front wrap with edging variation. Did we notice the edging variation? Mm, oh, yeah. So here it looks like this one is a facing on the inside and this one is more like a... Um, like a shawl collar that's folded over to the right side. And you can even see here the neckline is turned under. That's cool. That's super cool. Sleeveless, set in elbow or three quarter length sleeves, sash tie with buckle or not fastening. Yeah, this is going into my wish list for sure. All right, front tie dress in three lengths. Okay, it's hard to tell whenever the pattern is so busy. It looks like a wrap. Oh, I really can't tell. I'm loving this sleeve though. And then maybe like a bottom ruffle, uh, but maybe not. Is that a seam right there? Yeah, I can't tell. It's very hard with these busier prints. Okay, there's a pocket. There's a tie. It might just be like a mock wrap bodice with this. Um, I do like how, maybe it's not a wrap at all. I don't know. <laughs> I should just go to the line drawings first on ones like this because I'm really possibly screwing this up. Okay, let's do that. All right, what do we have here? Yeah, it is a bit of a crossover with... Um, almost it creates like a notched collar, which is really nice. Then you've got your sleeve options are this like bishop type sleeve, the flutter sleeve, and then the sleeveless. And then you've got a couple different waistband things, I think. Like this one feels like it has an actual waistband, but maybe that's just wrapped around a couple of times and they just tied it differently on these other two. I don't know. So again, with the elasticized waist, um, and I'm assuming that's where the seaming or the shaping is coming in for the back. And then, yeah, just your self tie. So, I mean, okay, that's all right. Not great, but it's all right. Here's the pattern cover. Yep. Chambray, cotton, linen types, poplin, shirting, and silky types. Yeah, definitely crepe and rayon and all of that too. They might be, you know, I never really noticed this, but they might be uh, not suggesting those fabrics because they reserve those for their summer patterns. You know, just as the suggestions. I don't know why they would do that because you could also make this out of fall type fabrics too, you know, heavier weight ones than this. So I don't know, that would be something interesting to ask them. Um, okay, so then you have your finished bust measurements. That's looks to be like across the board what they're going to give us. 
oh my word, five yards for A? I mean, I guess with a long sleeve and a long length. I don't know. I, I find that a little bit surprising. Look, even C, that's a sleeveless knee length fit and flare dress. I've made it a thousand times. More than two and a half yards of fabric. I mean, I guess it could be a very full skirt. I'm just underestimating how wide that skirt is. Hmm. Um, the sizing is 6 to 14 and 16 to 24 again. Misses dresses with wrap front detail on bodice and semi full skirts. The fixed sash wraps and ties to front or back, sleeveless, elbow length, or full length sleeves. Okay. Ooh, look at this little number. So tops, belt or scarf, and pants. Look how cool those pants are. Okay, so you've got a little keyhole opening here, or a little slit opening, really. Center front seam, set in sleeve, wide, almost like flutter sleeves, sash belt, and then you've got the pant. I'm going to presume these are elasticized waist, but with this slit opening. Now, before I go on raving about how awesome this pattern is, I want to tell you, in 2019, we had probably 548,000 different versions of an elasticized waist pant. And all they've done here is finished off this seam instead of sewing it closed. So if you happened to buy one of those 548,000 um, elasticized pant patterns this year, don't go out and buy this for the pants. You can make this out of the that same pattern that you already have. Just want to put that out there. Okay, here she is, forward facing. I like this when they do this front on um, photo. I think it really helps assess what's happening here. But yeah, the pants are super cool. Yeah, I think that the rest of it is pretty straightforward. Yeah, the top is not, you know, anything super unique. The fact that you have to Oh, that's funny. The belt and the tie. I'm sorry. The tie and the scarf are the same thing. It just depends on where you put it on your body. That's funny. Um, like I said, not super spectacular, but if you don't have anything like that, okay, sure. And then yes, here are the elasticized pants. It looks like they also have side seam pockets. And then there's the back of the top and your scarf slash um, belt. So, I mean, okay. The, uh, the way that they have styled this, the fabric that they chose for it, this is how you sell sewing patterns because this is not, like I said, an exceptionally unique sewing pattern, but she looks like a million bucks. And the way that they have put this together makes it look like something I don't have already, which when I look at the line drawings, I'm like, no, I definitely have a top like that. I can sew a sash without a pattern piece. And I mean, I have some elasticized waist pants in my stash too. Do you know what I mean? So that they did a really good job with this one. Six to 14 and then 14 to 22 on this. Mrs. Coordinated pants and top. Pull on top is sleeveless or with flared elbow length sleeve. Front neckline slit. Narrow scarf or waist tie. Pants are pull on with elasticized waist. Semi wide leg and optional side leg split. So there you go. Love it. Okay. Here is a shirt with drape variations. Oh, this is fun. So it's a take on a button down. Let's zoom in. You've got your jewel neckline. You've got, let's just cut straight to this. <laughs> I can't even tell what's going on. It's interesting. Yeah, it's like, okay, so she's got, it's like a cape on one side. 
and then a regular button down sleeve on the other side. Button front and then drapes um, like asymmetrical. Here's another good picture for it. This is just kind of funky. Where do you wear this? I guess you wear it to Target. It's kind of cool. I just don't think I'm cool enough for the top. But you can make it like a regular one. You know, it does have a, um, what do they call that? A stepped hem with the splits on the side, curved in the back. Or you can make it a full on cape shirt. But then is it like, do you have to wear something underneath? That feels very like exposing. I don't know why when she's like this, it's not like you can see up in there, but still, I don't know. I think that would make me feel uncomfortable. Here are our line drawings. This is so bizarre, but you know what it is? It's like, I'm always saying like, I want something unique. I want something different. You know, we've seen these same patterns over and over and over again. And here they are giving it to me. So I need to embrace it and encourage this behavior. Maybe it's not for me, but at least somebody's using their brain and trying to be creative and coming up with new and different things. Maybe the top would be more wearable for me if it weren't in a shirting, if it were in more of a lightweight fabric. But again, even that I'm not 100% sure on. I don't know. It could either be really cool or really weird. I can't decide, which probably means it's really cool. <laughs> 6 to 14 and then 14 to 22. Mrs. Shirts. Loose fitting shirts are buttoned with round neckline, straight sleeves, poncho style, or sleeve with opposite poncho style sleeve. Asymmetric hems. I think it's cool. I don't know. What do you guys think of this one? All right. Next up. Oh, this is cute. Uh, Mrs. Top with optional neckties. Love the fabric. So again, with the high collar, this one has a little bow detail. Pretty straightforward on the hem. Here's the back. Keyhole opening in the back. I love the little self-covered um, button. Beautiful. Yep. Bust starts. They put her in just some jeans. This is a very cute little kind of dressy casual outfit. Okay, here are our options. You have, and I, I love how far cut in the neckline or the um, sleeve opening is. This really is going to extenuate your shoulder and make it look really beautiful and feminine, which is nice. This is giving me a bit of an Asian vibe. You've got a little mock turtleneck and then a kind of like a grown on, like really, really short dolman sleeve. Or you have this version, which where the scarf hangs low and then her version, which is tied into a bow. Let's look at all of those again. So yeah, where the bodice, this is really simple to make. It looks maybe complicated, but you could probably actually make this from a tank top pattern that you already have. You just extend one shoulder into a tie shape and make a little facing and that's it. Um, here's this other version, which is kind of interesting. I kind of wish they would have made up one of these because these are the ones that feel a little bit more interesting and maybe hard to picture made out of fabric. But here are the backs. Curved hem on the front and back, which is nice. Yeah. Cotton lawn shirtings, silky types, wall. Okay. Bias tape, button, yep, small snap for B, two buttons, elastic cord, small snaps, so, okay. 
and then bust measurements only. Yeah, it's cute. 6 to 14 and then 14 to 22. Pull on with back neck button closure, sleeveless or slight cap sleeve. Front bust starts, curved hem, round neck, soft stand or long tie neck collar. View B has tie feature at left shoulder. All right. It's sweet. I could see this. It's very ready to wear. You know, I can see this in like a Banana Republic or something like that, especially out of, I'm assuming this is silk or they have this really great fabric at Joanne called Sanded Satin. It comes in a ton of colors. I absolutely love it. That would make a great top out of that fabric. All right, Mrs. Top with Tux. I feel like they gave this poor girl all the worst outfits. <laughs> oh, bless her heart. Okay. So pin tuck heaven, you got all these pin tucks here, which are actually quite satisfying to do and a lot of fun, but you've got a drop shoulder, you've got a sleeve cuff, button front, and then all the tucks release into this knee length, I guess, shirt with a split at both hems. It reminds me of like, a scary movie little girl dress, like poltergeist, you know, or like a evil doctor. I don't know. What do we think of it over the jeans? They're definitely trying to make a statement with a some kind of trend here. They also have this like stand collar too, which I forgot to mention. Um, okay, so our variations are a shorter uh, sleeve with a tab and then this um, curved hem. I think that would have been better over the jeans than this straight hem. <clears throat> C is maybe tunic length. And then here's A. The pockets in C, I mean, are those top stitched down? Maybe that won't be so bad, but still. Here are our line drawings. C is also missing the collar. I mean, I think fabric choice is gonna make a big um, difference here. And I think how you style it, I mean, this could obviously be a dress. It doesn't have to be a shirt over pants. Um, you know, it could be cool. Chambray, cotton lawn, gauze, lightweight cotton, lightweight shirtings, linen, voile. And then your finished bust. It's very loose fitting though. Okay. 6 to 14, and then 16 to 24. Misses shirt or tunic in three lengths with sleeve style variations, semi-fitted at the bust with drop shoulder, stitched feature, tucks, mandarin collar, and front button fastening. It certainly would be fun to make. All right, layered tunics. So you've got your rounded neckline, a drop shoulder, like buttons as decoration, and then something funky happening here with another layer of fabric coming underneath. Oh, here we go. Well, this is funky. Uh, <laughs> I might be speechless. Um, I mean, I, again, I don't hate it. Okay, so they have other versions where this little curved situation is happening on the other side too. And also where the 
like contrasting fabric is also peeking out of the sleeve. So that to me seems a little bit more intentional. This kind of feels just confusing, but like this makes sense. This makes sense. The buttons, I'm not getting buttons as decoration. I don't get it at all. Um, but I think it could be really cool, especially if you used like sheer fabric for the contrast or like monochromatic, but with different textures. So like a sequin with a chiffon, like black sequins and black chiffon, something like that. Yeah. Okay. So here are our line drawings. Yeah, nothing we really missed the first go round. They are recommending Shally, Double Georgette, Gauze, Jerseys, Silky Types, Washed Linen, and Linen Blends. Yeah, and I also want to say that the underlay could be a, obviously a different substrate altogether, but you could have different weights. Like you could even make the top part out of something like a lightweight ponty and then put the chiffon underneath or like a chalet or something incredibly lightweight. Two layers of linen could be cool or like a linen and a gauze. Okay. Um, finished bust measurements and it looks like alphanumeric sizing. So yeah, extra small through extra large all in one. Pull-on tops with layer effect and shaped hems. Short sleeve variations B and D are also layered. View D has a button feature on shoulder and view C has button feature at side. Ooh. Unlined jacket with waist belt. Oh, look at that blanket stitching. Do they teach you how to do that? Do you do that by hand? Oh, I might skip that part. <laughs> but I do love the big buttons. That's cool. And then you've got your... Is this a drop shoulder again? I think so. And then the little short little cuffed sleeve. And then these really cute pockets. Yeah, this is great for spring. I can't say, oh, that's a nice detail too. I can't say that I'm loving the blanket stitching and these large like wooden buttons. That feels very uh, um, Midwestern, I guess. It's just very specific. But here are our other versions. So you can, I guess, use smaller buttons, more of them. They also have chest patch pockets, or you could do a, a patch pocket at the hip and these, um, oh shoot, loop, buttons and loops, what are they called? Oh shoot, my brain's not working. And then you have like a regular long sleeve. This could even be great out of like a cardigan type fabric. What I'm trying to say is a knit, I guess. <laughs> Um, and this one even has more belt carriers. So this feels like if you took off the sleeves, we've got sort of a trench happening here, which is kind of cool. It's like a variation on a trench coat. I like this one. I think there's a lot of fun opportunities um, with styling it and with fabric choice. I think it's kind of super cool. Oops, go back, go back. I want this. All right, cotton types, denim, denim, linen types, poplin, sateen, twill. And then C, they're suggesting you could also make like a shirt, which is similar, I guess, to what I was saying about how C could be in different fabrics than the other two. Um, thread. 
D-rings. I wonder what the D-rings are for. Oh, I guess for the belt. Five buttons, three huge buttons. Oh, and snaps. And then, yeah, you hand embroider that blanket stitching. C actually has piping, which I didn't realize, so that's cool. And then here's your bust measurements. Again, pretty loose fitting. I think it's really cute. All of the sizing in one, alphanumeric, extra, extra small, up to extra, extra large. Mrs. Jackets in two lengths, unlined with front fastening and pocket variations, drop shoulders, straight, long, or cuffed sleeves. View B has blanket stitch feature edging. All styles have soft belt. Cute. All right, here is Mimi G and her husband modeling their new men's and teens jacket and hood. So yeah, basically a cargo jacket. We've got a camo one, which is super cool. Here's the hood. I'm guessing it's detachable. Wow, look at all these pictures. I don't even know what to do with myself. Okay. And here we are again. I feel like we're not going to get the full experience of all of these pictures with it zoomed in like that. So we'll go through them this way. Yeah, we've got the shoulder tabs. We've got a lot of pockets. We've got a zip with a fold over like button covered button situation. His looks like it's just the zipper with no, well, no, there's buttons there. Kind of oversized, kind of loose. Hers is knee length with, it may have some like a casing thing happening here. Cute with the hood. Also maybe a drawstring at the hem. Yeah, drawstring here, drawstring at the hem. You guys have seen these ready-to-wear jackets before. Oh, there's this interesting detail. This would just be a lot of fun to make with all the different construction elements. Plastic buttons, though, I mean, I think we could have done a snap or something a little bit more fitting with the utilitarian vibe. So, little cuff um, button detail. The camo version super cool. How neat are all these pictures? Look, the hood on zips. I love that. I think it's really cool. Okay, so did we not get, after all that, did we not get... Any, um, I guess we have to go down here for the envelope back. All right. Chino, cottons, denim, poplin, ripstop, nylon, sweatshirt fleece. I don't know about that. Twill. Thread, a zipper, 15 buttons, grow green ribbon, cording, a separating zipper, cord stops. You need a lot of stuff for this, but... You have a really cool jacket whenever you're done. Alphanumeric sizing. You don't need a ton of fabric considering, you know, everything you've got going on here. And then your finished garment measurements in the bust. So again, it's pretty loose fitting. So, all right, that's awesome. Mrs. Men's and Teen Jacket Unlined Combat or Parka Jacket has front separating zipper and button placket. Elasticated waist, four front pockets, two lengths and hem style options with a detachable hood. So cool. I think this is going to sell like gangbusters. Super cool. Good for them. Okay. 
Next up, we have this back wrapped skirt with pockets. And then they put um, rickrack around the pockets. I don't know about that. Okay, so patch pockets, big ruffle hem, kind of a close fitting skirt, some kind of wrap situation happening. So yeah, it just wraps around the back instead of the front. Okay, and then you've got a really nice back dart. Here's another view of that. It's like an apron. Look at these variations. So you've got this little tulip pocket and then you've got a kangaroo pocket with some kind of weird strapping on the bottom. What is the point of that? Literally, what is that? Are you supposed to hang something from there? <laughs> like, you're supposed to put your keys on that or something? I don't get it. I don't get it. Okay, you have three lengths. And then here's your back. I mean, all right. Sure. Batik, chambray, cotton types, lightweight denim, linen types, poplin. A and B, the longer versions, also in silky types. All right. Oh, look at all these finished, oh no, just kidding. They give you the hip measurement here. Very close fitting and through the hip. I mean, skirts are definitely having a moment. So, you know, maybe, but this one with the pockets and the just weird details, I don't know. I don't know. Six to 14 and then 14 to 22. I'm sure somebody's going to make a really cool version of this and I'm going to be eating my words, but it just feels a little like too much is going on. Uh, Mrs. Skirt wraps at back with a sash tie that fashions at side. Knee or mid calf are straight. Full length has deep frilled hem. Front pocket variations. Okay. Did I say the sizing? Yes. All right, next up we have another skirt, a sarong skirt. Well, this is really pretty. That looks fun to make. So they've got this in like a little crepe happening. Cool. Here's the back. You've got an invisible zip. A couple of darts. This is some kind of how the sash thing is made. I'm guessing what happening is happening is this piece here extends and then you sew the shorter end of the tie to the side seam and then you tie them together that way. But we've got a lot of versions here. So A is I think like hers but longer. And then we've got this one, and then we've got this, which it kind of looks the same, but also different. Like it has these, maybe they all have these pleats here, and they're just different lengths. And then this one doesn't have a tie, but it has buttons. That's hard to tell. Yeah, these are definitely the same in different lengths. And then B and D are the same length, but this one just has buttons instead of, I don't know, this could be cool. And then A and B has this separate tie. I don't get that part. I don't understand what's happening. I'd have to read the um, instructions. So, chalet, cotton types, crepe, double georgette, gauze, linen types, silky types. Yeah, I also kind of feel like a little bit more stable like chambray would have been fine. I mean, wall can be a little bit sheer. Um, but, you know, oh, I guess cotton types. Yeah, it's cool. It's definitely interesting. All right, 4 to 12 and then 14 to 22 on the sizing. Sarong style with pleats, 
or gathered to left front in three lengths with front curved hem. Yeah, pick your poison with this hem. You know, you pick a shally or a crepe or something and you're baby hemming, cursing yourself. <laughs> um, but it is beautiful whenever you're done, that's for sure. That's cool. I just want to know how it's, you know, like the puzzle part of my brain is like trying to figure out how did they do that? All right, we're going to skip the men's only pants because I don't make men's clothing, but it looks like they've got a really kind of like retro modern thing happening. So if you do sew men's clothes, this could be really cool. All right, we've got pull on pants, AKA elasticized pants with pockets. No, guys. No, again with the girl in the ugly clothes. Seriously. <laughs> she really did get all the worst ones. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is like very unflattering. There's like a ruffle paper bag thing happening, but then also a waistband above that. Um and then look at this him. They're like small leg openings and they're like pooling gathering at the bottom I don't know oh look they're like that looks awful let's fold these so they rolled up the hem but still this is nobody wants a tie that b far below their belly it's like accentuating any kind of belly that you might have even her and she's like little and thin and then here's the back. They do have a one patch pocket, two patch pockets. They match those, the fabric so well. It's like dipping down in the back. So you know that there's some issues with the crotch curve. Like this is just giving me like heebie-jeebies. And then you, instead of this, what monstrosity of, I don't even know what, you can make it without any of that, thank God, um, and do like a D-ring belt or a sash or, oh, now I'm really confused. This has D-rings hanging from the bottom, so I don't even know. And then you can even do the seam down the front. But the tapered and the, oh, gosh, gosh, gosh. Oh, is that just the pocket? Okay, so that ruffly thing is only the pocket, but this tie here is like so dumbfounding to me. So maybe just leave that off. If you're okay with the rest of this. <laughs> it's not that the rest of it is that great either, to be honest. Oh, goodness. All right. Well, there you have it. Chambray, cotton types, lightweight denim, linen types, poplin, sateen, seersucker. <sighs> and then you have finished hip measurements. And then the length. Sizing is 6 to 14 and then 14 to 22. Pull on style in two lengths with elasticated waistband, straight leg with feature front pockets and back patch pockets, belted or tie front detail. All right. Okay, there's like a little mommy and me situation happening. We'll check this out just for the mommy version. Uh, looks like raglan sleeve, high neck, patch pockets, and a like a hip length ruffle. It's actually not terrible. Um, you've got your button tab sleeve. Cute. Sweet. Well, that probably wouldn't be so flattering on me. I'm a pear shape, so my hips are much wider than my bust. And just having a seam with ruffles right under my butt like that, I don't know that that would look very good. They also have short sleeves for it, though. Well, there you go. All right, let's see what else we've got. Kids, 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 kids. And then this was our fall. So that is it. That is our new Simplicity 
uh, spring collection. What do you guys think? Does it feel new and fresh and transitional? I think so. There were a lot of really, really great standouts. This jacket for one. Love this dress. Um, what are some others? This jacket, Mimi's jacket, this skirt here. Yeah, there are a lot of really great pieces. And again, I feel like overall, almost every single pattern it took something that could be basic and kind of turned it on its head a little bit, you know, gave it a little bit of extra something to make it different, make it unique, make this collection stand out from the sea of patterns that we have now. I mean, we just have so many to choose from. So I like that all of these feel very different and very uniquely simplicity, which is great. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you'll be getting any of these uh, patterns, if you'll be adding any to your wish list. What were your favorites? What were the duds? Um, if you agree with my opinion, if you disagree, let me know in the comments below. It's truly my favorite part. I love hearing, you know, everyone's different opinions and what everyone thinks. So I guess I'll see you down there in the comments section. <laughs> um, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.